Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your iPhone SE with your Apple Watch. So this is the iPhone SE third generation or the 2022 model. I'm going to set up with the Apple Watch here. So it's going to be really simple and easy to do. So let's get started. So first thing is, if you have a new Apple Watch or this is the first time connecting it, and it's already reset and ready to go, you can turn it on here. I'm going to go ahead and power it on by holding this button here. So wait for the Apple logo to reappear and it will turn on here. And if you have it connected on other devices, I would recommend unpairing it from your old phone if you're moving over to a new phone. And then only your iPhone, you also want to make sure that you go to settings, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on just like that. And also helps if you're signed into your Apple account already so that process is easy. Here the Apple Watch, I already reset it. This one, this is going to be a new setup here. So this one, as you'll notice here, it is setting up for the very first time. So if I click on it here, it's going to ask me to set it up here. I can click on it. Now, when if I bring my phone close to it, sometimes there's a pop-up that will say uh, get started to uh, set it up. Like this one, as you can see here. Now, if this one doesn't show up for you, you can go to the Apple Watch app to set it up as well. So I'll show you a second where if you have it on your iPhone SE here, there's a default app known as the Watch app. You can download it if you deleted it already, but it's going to be a default app. You can also open it up just like that. And then what you'll do is start the pairing here and it can also start the pairing. So either way it works. So it can start the pairing and then here you'll set up for yourself or a family member. So I'll set up myself here. In order to start it, I get now the other thing is you're going to select the language here on the Apple Watch and then you start the pairing here. And then all I do is simply hold this in front of the camera so that it can detect that and start the pairing process. And then it will say set up Apple Watch and then you can pick your wrist preference, left or right, whatever it is. So I just hit that next here, continue and connecting your Apple Watch. So it takes a moment here, but basically this is a pairing happening right now. Shouldn't take too long to get paired up. Sometimes it does require you to sometimes update the Apple Watch itself if it needs to update and it will do it with, through the software of the iPhone because it, it doesn't it knows what software is needed so that's why it could take a little bit longer so as you can see it's still connecting here so and then the terms and condition now we'll hit agree and then Apple ID so you want Apple ID in order to pretty much use all the features of your Apple Watch here. You can enter your password. You can skip that step here. It doesn't matter. You can always come back and set it up here. I'm going to go ahead and enter my password really quick here. All right, so I just entered my password here. I'll hit sign on here, and then it's going to verify my Apple ID. says a few minutes but I think it should be pretty quick based on previously how I set up the Apple Watch on other devices so let's see how long that takes the other quick tip for you guys is if you're doing this uh, make sure your Apple watch is charged I notice sometimes if it doesn't have charge or low charge it dies during the process uh, it could not set up correctly and same with your iPhone of course make sure it has at least 50% or more charge because this process sometimes can take a little bit time but generally doesn't so it's still processing for us so give it a little bit more time Alrighty, so and then next step here, watch analytics. If you want to share with Apple basically to improve their product, I usually don't. And then your passcode, you can set up a pass, create a passcode. Don't use a passcode. Highly recommend using a passcode so you can create, use the create button. And then you could enter one. So I'll just put a super simple one here. And then if you want location services, you want to turn that on. I'm just going to click on that here again to use all the thing. And then the text size, what kind of font you want. You can select the different text size settings so you can make it bigger or smaller or come back and set it up later. And then Siri, if you want to use Siri, you're going to hit this Siri is highly um, useful when it comes to Apple Watch to do a lot of things. Again, you'll use that to set it up. 
and then you can add information if you're going to use the fitness and health app which most people do i recommend putting all that info in or you can come back and set it up later and then activity which is allows you to pretty much do stuff and then record all that data you can set it up uh, or you can skip it and set it up later so i'm just going to skip it here and then all these other things that you features that you can utilize here hit continue here and then if you're taking any medication here you can set that up as well i'm just going to hit continue and then emergency and sos fall detection which your apple can do you understand it's basically giving you some info on that i'm going to hit continue and i should be able to now set this up if everything went well Alrighty, so Apple Pay now, we can set that up if you want to use Apple Pay on your watch, you can add the uh, card basically that are on your phone. And then always on, if you want to take the feature always on, which is now possible, you can select the hit continue here. Then app preview, you have the option to see which view you like, which you like the grid view versus the list view, I'll just keep it as default. And then this syncing is happening. Uh, which takes shouldn't take too long but basically when you do all those it's going to sync all of the information over to your apple watch and then make it work for you while this ha happening you can do other stuff but actually after the sync is done you'll be able to use your apple watch and you'll be paired up with your iphone so we're just going to show you just as a pairing happens here And you can pretty much learn other stuff if you want to explore the user guide and other things while it's doing the pairing. But generally, you can get away with doing other stuff while the pairing is and syncing is happening, basically. So I think we're almost there yet. So it's the screen is black right now on the Apple Watch. So let's see where that goes. So the syncing is happening here. So it took a few minute or two and then finally I got welcome to Apple Watch and I'm ready to go and hit OK here. And as you can see here, Apple Watch is set up. Now you can start using it and getting all of the features of it, as you can see here, ready to go for us. So I hope this video was helpful and if so, please make the like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks with your iPhone and Apple Watch. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.